Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs, behind me, a 2016 Evo, going to South Florida. If you don't know it, Evo is our newest model, 17.9, rated to a 115. It's got that whole, you know, attitude for inshore and also off the, uh, the beach. If you're going to do the tarpon, the permit gig, or deep water red fishing in places like Texas, Louisiana, Carolinas, maybe even North Carolina and Virginia for like, you know, stripers and albacore, all the way down to Key West. Well, anyways, this one's going down to South Florida, Miami area. He'll be uh, traveling South Florida angler from the Everglades all the way down to Key West. Let's talk about the boat. Starting at the back, we have a custom blue, it's a BMW blue. We have a blackout package going on throughout the whole boat. We have the flat steps with the grip. We have the handrail with a later down the road, a swim platform, a dive ladder for spear fishing, lobster in, sandbar stuff. He has a removable tray off the back. This is all done in-house at East Cape. He also has the lean bar tubes. And then in the front, you'll see in pictures, and as well as other times in the videos, you will also see he's got the uh, spreader light. That gives him night light off the front of the boat, as well as if he's backing down, you turn it around, shines up everything behind you. So you can go down to those ramps and actually have the illumination that you need. Black V Marines, removable backrest, spin on and off. He has all his electronics inside. He actually has uh, one side open so he can get to some of the fittings and have more raw storage. Then the other side is actually insulated as a separate compartment. He also has a rear trolling motor mount in the back so when the water's rough, he can take the trolling motor off the front so it doesn't get beat up and put it on the back. Moving forward, JL audio system he has in the back, rocking. Nice Garmin 741. He has the triple rod holders angled out so they don't hit. The Epson steering wheel, two cup holders, triple door, rod storage. He chose the flush mount, high back console, cut down, measured for the way he likes it. Insulated cooler. Going forward, Tyler at Castaway Custom with the uh, brushed finish T deck, uh, C deck. I love that stuff. Three latches for his cage because he is a uh, tarpon and permit fisherman. And again, he has the offset mount up front for the trolling motor. We do this so when he's on the back and you have somebody on the front in the cage, if the trolling motor was mounted here, you would actually be going like this the whole time. So when it's offset, you have a direct line of sight so you can actually fish too and you're not sitting there trying to figure out which way you're going all the time. Pull up cleat in the front, again for tying off for tarpon. He has the blackout package from Ramlin, your removable trailer tongue. So what that means is, is the trailer, when you slide the tongue out, actually becomes shorter than the boat that you know is sitting on top of it. I say it all the time, Mark and I are going on 11 years, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boats out there. If you're in the market, you're, you owe it to yourself to check us out. Come ride, pick a nasty day, whatever. Evo, East Cape Skiffs, there's so much going on in this boat. I'd rather not say it. I'd rather you come and see it, touch it, experience it. But this is one of many on its way down to South Florida. As always, thank you guys. Oscar, she's awesome. Y'all take care. See ya.